So finally guys, a lot of us have now gotten our stimulus payments after them being delayed and the dates being changed uh, several times. So today I want to share a couple of updates to the stimulus package. And as you all know, the stimulus package is much more than just the $1,200 payment that most people will be getting or that most people have already gotten. Now, just a quick thank you to all my returning viewers and subscribers. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the channel once more. And if you're new here and this is the first time you're seeing me, my name is Ian. And on this channel, I talk about personal finance, investments, and making money. So if that's something that you want to know more about, then one, give this video a thumbs up and share it everywhere you can so it can help out more people as well. And secondly, consider subscribing to this channel so you can see future videos that I post here. And I post videos here several times a week on YouTube. Now back to the updates in this 2020 stimulus package. So first of all, there are some new tools that we have available to us for those of us who haven't received the stimulus payment as yet, or for those of us who didn't give the IRS the information they needed to either send the payments to us or in our bank accounts, or even by the mail. Now, the IRS was on time for the most part on the 15th when they sent out payments to almost everyone who had an account on file. Now, if you didn't have an account on file, then that same day, they launched the portal where you could go on and you could add your banking information so you could be included in the next set of direct deposit payments uh, that they will be sending out. So the first one is on the IRS website. So here we go. And this is irs.gov. And what you want to do is to click on the link where it says non-filer. And come to think of it, just before you do that, on the opposite side, it says get refund status. And that's for checking the progress of your tax refund. And above it says Mexican beer tax relief. But what we're looking at today is the new link where it says non-filer. Now, here is where you want to go if the IRS doesn't have your information to process your stimulus payments. So if you didn't file a tax return and you won't for any reason, then this is really the only other way you can get your stimulus payments. Uh, well, actually, it's not the only way. It's one of two ways now that I think about it. Uh, previously in my last video or in my last update, Rather, I mentioned going on to TurboTax and that way still works as well. So I'll bring that one back up in just a while. So once we're on the IRS website, we'll click on non-filers, enter payment info here. And that takes us to this page. Now, when you get here, you will need to create an account with your email address, and then you'll be able to give them your name, your social security number, your address, and most importantly, your banking information so they can process and send your stimulus payments uh, by direct deposit. Now, this isn't the only way and TurboTax also has a link which gets the same thing done as well. So the link to do this for TurboTax is right here. I'm uh, putting it up on the screen for you guys. So let's head over to TurboTax now. Now, this page actually shows the stimulus calculator, but that's not what we want right now. So we'll scroll down to these links and here we're going to be choosing the one that says, if you don't need to file your taxes this year. Now, from there, you may have to create a TurboTax account if you don't have one, and that's free of cost. If you do this on TurboTax, the entire thing is totally free. So these are two ways that you can request your stimulus payment if you haven't paid or filed any tax returns and you need to send your information to the IRS. Now, very important, have all your information ready before you start this process. So get your bank account information, your social security information, and just have everything ready because the very last thing you need here is the system to time out on you and then not being able to get back on. Now, they have placed a limit, and I'm not sure what it is exactly, but there's only a number of times that you can go on here and try this per 24-hour period before it actually locks you out for trying to access the resource for too many times. And this is because a lot of people are going to be using this, and they are trying to keep the portal up and running without it becoming overloaded and crashing. 
I mean, we don't want this to be another case of Robin Hood when the stock market goes down. So keep that in mind. Now, in other important updates for this stimulus package, if you are planning on getting your stimulus payment in the mail, well, the president has one more delay for you. So the president has decided that he wants his name in the memo section of all stimulus checks and the IRS is saying they have already created the checks. So now they're going to have to redo everything and this is going to push them back nearly two weeks. And remember, they are not using one day or overnight express mail to send you the stimulus check. It's going to be sent in the snail mail. So let's add three weeks for that. So if you are expecting a check, well, unfortunately, and I mean, I could be wrong here, but in my estimation, you may not be seeing that stimulus check for uh, three to four weeks from now. Now guys, I really wish I was making this up, but I'm not. And the IRS is labeling this as a programming change. But if you listen to the news or just look it up anywhere, I mean, don't take my word for it. It's actually happening. Now, in other developments, the small business loans or forgivable loans for small businesses that were first come, first serve are all done by now. I mean, it's all over. They have run out of money uh, for that. And so the government is, again, trying to get some more funds so that more small businesses can benefit from that. And at this point in time, we can't say for sure if that will be coming through, but that's in the plans as of right now. Now, there is one more big update, and that's the EMP, I hope I got that right, or the Emergency Money for the People Act, which is where an additional payment of $2,000 per month is being looked at. So this would be an additional $2,000 for each qualifying adult. Think about that. Now, what makes this even crazier is that this isn't a one-time payment like the $1,200 payment. It's per month for six months. Now, we can't say for sure that this will be passed, but it is being looked at. And later on this week, we should have some more clearer details on this uh, to see where it progresses to. So now, just to answer a few questions that I have been getting uh, about the stimulus package. So the first one is, if you have no banking information on file with the IRS, will you still get the stimulus check? Okay, so the answer is yes, but if you don't go on the portal we just looked at and update them with your banking information, your payment will be delayed by a few more weeks at the very least as you will receive a check with the president's name on it, of course, and then these checks are not ready as yet. Now, the second question is, if I owe any debts, will I still get my stimulus payment or will it be garnished to cover those debts? Now, from what I understand thus far, it's only child support or back child support uh, debt that would cause you uh, to get your stimulus payment garnished. Another question was, what if I filed my 2019 return and they were accepted? They had my updated information, but I haven't received my refund as yet. Will I still get the stimulus payment? Now, the answer here is yes, and even if you haven't gotten your tax refund as yet, you should still have gotten your stimulus payment as long as your banking information was on your tax return and it was the right information. And finally, now probably the biggest question out there is, will there be a second stimulus payment? Now, the chances of us getting a second stimulus payment are good, but as for the proposed $2,000 a month for six months, I'm not sure if I personally believe that that would make it to the Senate, at least not the way it's being presented right now. Uh, with some more modifications, we could surely see a second stimulus payment. And if you guys would like for me to make another video about the proposed uh, $2,000 to $5,000 per month stimulus payment for six months, just drop a comment down below so I know, and I'll probably make that my next video if you guys want to hear more about that. So those are the updates to the stimulus package right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, now's the time to do so, and give this video a thumbs up and just share it everywhere so it can reach more people and also help them out as well. So until next time, guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.